As for the aftermath of that November election, the battle rages on in Arizona. Maricopa County supervisors and the state Senate going back and forth over election audits, an ongoing fight that doesn't seem to end. So we ask, is there a deeper message fueling all of this? We get more from ABC 15's Nicole Valdez. It's the debate that's lasted well past election season. Were Maricopa County's votes counted properly? All signs point to yes, but the back and forth battle over auditing the voting equipment now taking another turn. We've been at this for nearly 87 days. Uh, every day they continue to move the goalposts. I do feel like the goalposts are moving a little bit here on us and it's it's getting to be a bit of a distraction at this point. Shared concern coming from the County Board of Supervisors after some state legislators who demanded an audit now say it's not enough. State Senate President Karen Fan releasing a statement Friday saying in part, the scope of the audit must be broader than the one proposed by the county's vendors. Our constituents have said they want a forensic audit. That's exactly what we're doing. And the two firms that we're going to have come in and look at this, uh, you know, they're the only two who are qualified to be working with this equipment. But the state Senate still hiring a different unnamed firm themselves, a move getting praise from some obvious supporters. The Board of Supervisors in Maricopa County has fallen down on the job. And I believe that if they've hired the right company, we are finally going to get to the bottom of what happened in 2020. The head of the Arizona Republican Party continuing to push for a deep dive into the 2020 election while simultaneously ignoring demands on KFYI for audits into her own party election. There's no procedure, process, rule, that allows for it to be done. And you certainly don't allow a challenger who lost an election to demand something that they don't have the right to and we don't have the responsibility for providing. So why the double standard? The fact is that they meet this narrative. They need to be able to cast doubt on our election. They need to use our audit as a way to push their legislative agenda. More than 30 bills introduced this month that attempt to change how Arizona conducts future elections. This is not about auditing the elections or our machines. There, there's a greater power move here. And it's about a legislative agenda that honestly is just hurts uh, how we conduct an election. And Supervisor Gallardo, who you just heard from, saying on Twitter late tonight he is getting death threats and blames what he calls lies and conspiracies from some GOP leaders like Kelly Ward for fueling that. As for that audit, what actually comes from it, likely not much, but it is important to note that state law actually prevents the county from handing over any actual ballots. Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.